Praise God. God bless you, church, for connecting with me. I'm not sure about the the sun and the view here where I'm at, but there's a lot of sun here today, and we're under a tree and um, <laughs> really feeling um, the greatness and the presence of God here today. You know, God has led me to do these prophetic words, and that's the reason why I'm coming in. Amen. Um, I wanted to do them live, unfortunately, through uh, some of the social media platforms. You know, you have to have a s certain number of growth. But you know what? With God, there's nothing that is impossible for what God wants to do and what He is doing even already. Amen. So let us go ahead and pray. And before I, I begin to give out this prophetic word, amen. Um. Every time it seems that I say that now, God begins to express himself even through speaker, which is another um, radio podcasting that I do. Amen. So I would like to welcome y'all as those that are new that are coming in. Amen. Um, I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for giving forth and as well towards, amen, this ministry and giving this word of God. Amen. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for... Uh, prayer mountain church amen though uh that that is being established there in africa amen and uh, nigeria so you know god is just doing so many great things and so many things as well that are happening around the world um as i was going into speaker the lord had given me a different word to share for those that are in the prophetic amen and so god shows me this is the word and so let us go ahead and pray. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you, Lord, for this prophetic word that you have given unto me to share with your people, Father God. I pray that you will use me as your mouthpiece, Father God. And every word that has been spoken, Lord Jesus, that it shall go before your throne and it shall accomplish that which you set it out to do, Father God. Lord, if any word that is spoken against me, Lord Jesus, I pray, Father God, that we call it to be annulled, Father God. And I ask you, Lord, that you, Father God, will be expressed in leaps and bounds and in our lives, Father God. May you receive all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. As we go into this teaching, Father, I thank you for the prophetic word and I thank you, Lord, for the lesson. I thank you, Father God, that you are speaking, Father, and that your people are hearing, that your people are listening, Lord, and that we are taking heed into the word of God and to the promises of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So God bless you, church. Let us go into the word of God. Uh, one of the things that as I was reading and receiving is there out of the book of Matthew chapter 25. Amen. And, you know, the Lord here, he talks about the time of the kingdom of heaven, that it will be like ten bridesmaids who look, who took their lamps and went to wait for the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five of them for, were wise. You know, one of the things that the Lord was sharing with me there is that they were both in the number five amen and when we look at both to the number five we know that that is the number of grace amen and so but there was five that were foolish and also there were five that were wise amen it says but they did not take more oil for the lamps to burn amen it says the wise brides maids took their lamps and more oil in jars amen and i was thinking why is it that you know that they had more amen and the reason why they had more church was because of the factor that we're givers in this kingdom amen you know when god blesses us we are to bless others amen it's better to be a blessing to give than to receive amen because then those that are doing without that they are able then to give forth the blessing of god amen what god has given unto us we're able 
to bless others with. That is those of the wise. Amen. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, that is those of the wise. Those that are heeding what I am speaking and what I am saying and where I am going. God is going somewhere. God is doing some things. And he has uh, risen up. Believe me, church. He has risen up his remnant to speak this word of God. Now is the time. Now is the hour, said the Lord, that my light will so shine upon the earth. Amen. And so, I don't know um, what type of oil you have. <laughs> you know, I don't know how much oil you have. But God is saying that he wants our cups to be full. He wants our cups to be an overflowing and outpouring, amen, of this hour, of this end hour of the Holy Ghost, amen. I know that many are giving prophetic word of going forward and God's going to turn things unto gold, amen. And, you know, and that's wonderful when God is leading you towards his kingdom when God is leading you towards the things yes of this world because we need to change the world system we need to change those things and bring more light into the midst of the darkness in Jesus mighty name come on now God is that good amen and he is wanting us for our oils our jar of oils to be filled with others. You know, uh, one of the things that, uh, that through the word of scripture that it was talking about how they didn't have, and they said, you know what, we're going to go buy. So it didn't mean that they didn't have the money. You know, it didn't mean that they um, didn't do what they were supposed to do. No, what it was is that they didn't give the timing you see what I'm saying? They didn't give the time. And then when they wanted to do it, that is when the door was then closed on them. And he, uh, which is the Lord, literally I have the Bible here in front of me. And because I really like to uh, stay true to the word of God. Amen. But he literally, he had spoke to them later. They had came back and they said, Sir, sir, open the door and let us in. But the bridegroom answered, I tell you the truth. I don't want to know you. Can you imagine that, church? I don't want to know you. In other words, there's going to become an hour. There's going to become a time where the doors will be closed. Amen. And God is saying that we need to be ready. Amen. 